Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Sunday League Football with ourselves, Sporting Continental. This is our cup final. I apologise, this video is a little bit late. You can probably still hear it in my voice, but I have not been well. But we're here now and over the next couple of weeks, we will be putting out quite a few cup finals. So yeah, exciting time. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, give us a like, leave a comment down below, follow us on Instagram follow us on twitter and if you haven't already check out the video we posted <laughs> yesterday it's a build up to this cup final it was filmed just before the game started catch up with some of the players get the manager's thoughts so yeah go and check that out the link is in the description down below so without any further delay let's have a look at how we lined up in this cup final match in goal number one as ever is fash ibrahimi left back we've got matt drage the skipper Centre backs we've got Hugo alongside Terry Obeng with Joe Bailey playing right back. In the middle of the park, Lewis comes into the starting lineup to play alongside Ben, Medium, and Aaron Miller will play just ahead of them in the 10. On the right hand side, we've got Darren. On the left is Sir Dan Hughes, and through the middle is Todd Joyce. Full bench for us as expected in the final. Number six, Theo Campbell. Number 19, Damio Yatan. 17, Cairo Kelly. Number five, Montel Shaw. And number three is BJ. And the gaffer, you already know, is Joe and Jop. So having lost in a cup final last year, we are desperate to win this one. So we've got to be on it right from the start. And now let Miller set the pace on this one. Cosmos number 30 on the ball here, being forced back towards his own goal, but he's going to play around the corner into the feet of the number nine, who is their danger man, to be honest. He's rapid, to be fair, and here's the number 22, and he's played it in behind Joe, and there you see the number nine coming across, getting the ball instead of Terry. He's played it inside. It's a touch by the striker, tries an overhead kick, but there was never any power in that one. The ball ends up with Fash. Number 30 again on the ball, plays it over the top to the number 7 who plays it out wide. He gives the ball away and the ball goes to Terry here. It's blocked by the hand, referee doesn't give it so we've got to play on and falls here to the number 9. They're in our box now, he's going to try and get a cross in but it's blocked well by Terry. And we're asking questions. Corner came to nothing, we actually got a goal kick out of it and here you see Fash playing a shot to Hugo. Ben's coming short to collect it, but Hugo opts to go back to Fash instead. Fash has a look up, he sees Joe's completely open, finds him of course. Joe brings it down well, plays it to Miller, listen to the sideline. It's a free kick in a good area for us, a fantastic play by Darren. And it's appreciated by everybody on the ground. Oh yeah, haven't forgotten about this one. Close them. Free kick just outside of the box and Drage goes keeper side. Oh, keeper stayed rooted there. Not sure if he would have got it if he was on target. Another free kick for us and it's Miller standing over it. Puts it into the box. Ben miscues his volley. The ball gets cleared here onto the edge of the box. The number seven for Cosmos gets there ahead of Joe. The number nine is going to come away here. Ball bounces to the number 22 who heads it back to the 30 and he plays it down the line into that number nine. Very quick player. He's going to come inside here. Hugo forces him inside. We've backed away a little bit too much. He has a shot from too far out, but that's not going to trouble Fash. Now I've got to be completely honest. I think I finished five cup finals. And no goal was as shit as this one. I mean, I'm not too sure what the keeper was doing there. I mean, on the night, we will take it. And we'll take it every other day as well, to be honest. It's not a great goal to concede, but Drage wins the header at the front post and the keeper... Well, I don't know. You've got to ask him what he was trying to do there. 
Corner for us on this near side and Darren takes it short to Miller. Miller puts it into the box to get sliced by the number six. As far as Terry, Terry challenging there with the number 15. The ball falls to Drage. He hits it on the volley. We're asking for a handball here. Referee says no, shakes his head, jogs away. Let's have a look at it from behind the goal in our perfect worm's eye view camera. Drage hits it on the volley. You can see there it hits one hand and arguably hits the hand of the number 18 as well before the keeper falls on top of it. It wasn't given so we move on. Let's have a look at it in full speed as well by the way. Would have been tough for the ref to spot this. Free kick for Cosmos near the halfway line. The number three is going to try and launch this one into the, well, to the edge of the box, into the feet of the number nine, who is under pressure here by Joel. The overlap by the number 22 allows the number nine to cut inside. He has a shot. Again, that one isn't going to trouble Fash. We'll have him shoot from there all day long, to be honest. And here he is again on the ball, trying to find a through ball to the number seven, but that one goes straight through to Fash. Fash quickly throws it out and gets us on the counter attack here, throws it to Drage. Dre just got Miller coming in for support, but he reverses it behind the centre back. Darren's come across from the opposite wing. He tries to get across into the box, and we're asking for a handball here again. We're looking at the line. The line has flagged it, and the referee this time does point to the penalty spot. Undoubtedly, a handball there. You can see there in slow motion. The player had his hands up, and he stops the cross from going in. And it's a definite penalty, and it's a very good chance for us to extend our lead here in this first half. And it's going to be Drage to take it. <laughs> Two nil up with less than half an hour gone is a good lead to keep here. And the corner goes into the box and the number 30 takes it off Ben Mizen's head. And they're looking to counter here with a speedy number nine. And look at Joe's legs moving faster than they have in at least 15 years. Does well to get back and Darren there doing brilliantly and then giving the ball away. But luckily for us, the number seven miscontrols it. The ball ends up with Miller. Miller plays it out to Drage. Drage is going to look to find Dan, but gets intercepted by the number three. How many strikers would they have just left that? Not Todd. Todd always working hard there, gets pulled back and he's going to win us a free kick in a good position. Ball ends up with the Cosmos keeper and he's going to send this one long. And Hugo's going to manage to drop a little shoulder here and send the number seven running the wrong way. Instead, he plays it all the way back to Fash. And Fash has got Miller coming short, so he plays it to him. Miller with the number 30 pressing him, plays it back to Fash. Fash on the ball is going to open it up and play it on this near side into the feet of Terry. Terry spots Darren, who's been having a good day down this near side. It's a good ball by Terry. That's got to be a high foot. The referee does give it. There's a few complaints from the Cosmos player saying it wasn't high, but have a look at this. Yeah. Quite high, isn't it? So from the free kick, Dan gets into the box and Todd, oh, the keeper has just taken it off Todd's head. And here you see Joe trying to play that one back to Miller. Look at this for a tackle by Miller. It's a fantastic tackle. It was given as a foul though. Either way, he stopped a counter attack. So we're quite happy. Goal kick for Cosmos taken by the centre back. It goes long, but Hugo's going to win the header. Falls to Lewis. Lewis plays it to Dan. Dan is going to play it back to Lewis. Lewis is going to shoot here first time. He gets blocked and then... <laughs> what a finish by Lewis. His compatriot, Quaresma, would be very, very proud. Lewis came into the starting lineup because of an injury to Aiden. And what a way to justify that selection. What a goal. We're going to have a look at it again. It definitely deserves another viewing. Also, keep an eye on Sami at the bottom of your screen. He loses all motor functions on his limbs. Love to see it. Wow, what a finish by Lewis. Just over five minutes to go in this first half and number seven tries to put a ball into the box. It's headed out by Hugo. The ball ends up here with the number seven. It gets nicked off him by Darren. And Darren showing the number six here a clean pair of heels. He's going to be bundled off the ball here. Don't think the number six got any of the ball, to be honest. But no foul given. 
corner for Cosmos is the number 30 who's going across to take it. Terry gets up, heads it nice and far, ends up with the number 9. Very far out, has another volley and it falls to Fash again. It's a throw for Cosmos over this near side. The ball's thrown to the number 30 and that is the half-time whistle. We go in at half-time, 3-0 up in a cup final. I cannot complain. The boys have played well, defended well. Let's hear what the gaffer thinks. Um, boys, first thing, how's everyone feeling? Everyone yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah, so we got obviously the boys on the bench, so we got you lost ten more minutes and then once you're done just say and we can start um, getting fresh legs on there if we need to. Uh, one thing I will say, obviously the ball over the top's massively hurting them, but at times we're forcing it. There's, there's times that we can get it, we can get it a bit further forward because they're that scared of that ball going in behind them. They start dropping, 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 and then you can actually get it into Darren's feet. We can get into the midfield and we can turn and we can start getting at them that way as well. So I just mix it up a tiny bit more. Obviously, if that ball's there, then yeah, it's, it, it can go and we'll cause them more problems going that way. But at the same time, we've got that extra option that we can actually play a little bit of football as well and get through them that way. Because they, quite frankly, they're, they're shit scared at the back, don't know what to do. So every time they see it, they start, they start trying to drop. And whereas it pro we're probably most of the time we're getting it beyond them, but then there's not that second option. So if they start dropping and they've got a bit more space in front of them, let's just move the ball back a little bit more. Be more, mm. bit more confident. Take confident. Continue. Yeah, it's 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 cutting yeah keep, keep, oh, all right, no. keep, keep your head switched on though. Keep, really keep our, keep our shape there properly. And <laughs> we're, 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 we're comfortable. They haven't unduly caused our stress. Just keep, keep doing the right things. Don't overcomplicate. Still, them. still no risks as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's bobbling, right? Yeah. 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 Don't, don't take risks when you don't have to. If it's, on a, if it's on a first time clearance, just stick it in the chat. Oh, yeah. okay. And at the same time as well, we can start to manage the game a bit now. So, so, so let's, let's not fucking sprint to get the ball for throw ins. We can take our time, we can set things up and just milk, milk, the, cl milk the clock out as well. Same with Preston as well. Yeah. Mm. But it's good. Let's just, no, no, <laughs> risk. no risk, nothing stupid. And we're halfway there, but it's only half a job. Don't give them the encouragement. Everyone saw Wednesday night. It horrifies me, so... If they get a goal back and they get that little bit of a lift off that, then you never know what can happen. So don't, so don't give them that encouragement. Play it, play it in 10, 15 minute spells of just, right, we're not going to give them anything. And if we get, if we get the extra goal, it's brilliant. So second half about to get underway and we know this final is now ours to lose and we cannot afford to make any mistakes because Cosmos are a team that will punish you if you switch off. So we've got to stay switched on and show the same discipline we did in the first half. Ball over the far side with the number 30 getting closed down by Ben and then ball played out wide and then it goes back into the number 30 who gets closed down by Darren nowhere for them to go here and they play it back to the keeper the keeper plays it to Todd oh that was very very close the keeper gets away with one there throw over the far side then it's going to be Ben to launch it into the box and Drage wins the header at the near post again and the keeper drops it and it almost falls to Dan but the keeper manages to pick it up again so 53, 54 on the clock and we've got a throw on this near side and it's Drage with the ball at his hand and he's going to throw it to Miller. Miller's going to set it off to him. You can't really see it from this angle but this pass was sublime and he's put Darren in on goal. Defender getting back, Darren cuts inside, he sells a dummy to the number 6 and he reverses it past the keeper and that is number 4 and we have scored another goal in this cup final and it's 4-0 to the cons and this time it's Darren with the goal with a fantastic finish taking that brilliantly well superb pass by Drage to find Darren who stayed on side gets behind the defender chops inside sells the other one and puts it past the diving keeper who stood absolutely no chance great finish by Darren also shout out Ben Anderson been injured for half of the season but he showed up today and he's got some great footage how was the game <laughs> it was alright yeah scored a little goal got one in scored a little goal a little goal a little, right? a little bendy you were breathing heavy two seconds ago, so don't try and... <laughs> Bro, I'm not going to score for another five years, so I'm going to take that yeah. one. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> you looking to get back on though, no? 
No, never. Come on. Okay, fair one enough. Long, fair one enough. long. <laughs> All right. One long's gone. Nice one. Throw over the far side for Cosmos. Ben Medium wins the header and it ends up with the number 30. And Todd working hard like he has been all game. Forcing the number 30 back to an area centre midfield. Doesn't really want to be when you're defending this deep and we're pressing very high. The ball ends up with the left back and he plays it back to the number 30. He's got no one to pick out so he tries a switch. And you know what? What a goal this would have been for a hat trick. How unlucky was that by Matt Drage? He's done that about four times this season, to be honest, and he scored four times, to be fair. Wow, incredibly unlucky there. But again, Todd working hard over the far side, forcing the error, and Drage nearly punishes Cosmos again. Go, 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 go. Ball over the far side, then it gets switched uh, into the centre back here, and he plays it out to the right back, the number 12, who brings it down, plays it back inside the pitch, plays it to the number 30, who plays it back out to the 12, he plays it down the line to the 9, who plays it inside to the 8, he has a shot, but again, that one's straight at Fash. So, just over an hour played in this game, and Cosmos have a corner, it comes off Ben. And it falls to the number 30. Hugo goes out there to press him. So he plays it back to the number 12. Number 12 plays it out to the 9. He gets a cross across the face of goal and is nicked in by Cosmos. And they have pulled a goal back. And it's a good goal from their point of view. And we've just fallen asleep there on a vital minute. We just didn't get out quick enough as a team. It'll be interesting to see this one from behind the goal. As the ball gets played wide and the cross comes in. Yeah, we've fallen asleep. The Cosmos player makes no mistake, puts it away, puts it past Fash, and it's 4 1. Now, just in case you're forgetting, this is a cup final, and there's nothing like a couple strong challenges to remind everyone. As you can see there, Miller has stayed down and he is going to come off. Now if you're squeamish, look away now because this is how his ankle looked. So 65 nearly on the clock and Cosmos are going to play it out from the back. It's the number 6 driving forward with the ball. We've stopped pressing, we don't really need to at 4-1 up to be honest. And the number 6 goes long here looking for the striker. Hugo intercepts that one beautifully. Drage volleys it forward over the top into Dan who is on side. The defender gets back well. We're forced to Todd. Todd picks out Dan on his left. Dan chests it down just a little bit too far from him. Oh, what a time for your touch to let you down. Cosmos with the ball looking to go forward here again. They're going long and again is intercepted by Hugo. Beautifully chested it down and played it to Drage. He's having a good game to be fair. And he plays it in behind into Todd. Todd is going to shoot this one. Has a volley on his left. But that one goes straight into the Cosmos keeper. Ball over the far side, then there's a throw for Cosmos and they're coming into the box head. They have a shot, they're asking for a handball there and I can promise you, it never was. I would show you it from behind the goal, but it was just out of shot of the GoPro. Cosmos defence with the ball at their feet and they're going to play this one forward and it is going to be one back by Terry who's going to turn into Theo circa 2012. He's then going to play it to Theo, who's going to turn into Terry. Substitutions being made here, so I give you over to Ben Anderson again. The goal scorer. The goal scorer. That's a chop and then chop and then chop again. That's the best I've seen you play. By Terry. Yeah. No left. <laughs> no left. <laughs> no left. <laughs> I think it's the pep talk I was giving you. No, bro, it's the yeah. roids, bro. Yeah. It's the roids, bro. It's the roids, bro. Hey, yeah. Terry, you're looking all bolo and that, and now you're crunching, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The thing is, though, the decision. No, yeah, he was. They usually suspect. They usually suspect. Throw for us on this next side, then it's going to be taken by Drage into Ben. Ben plays it back to Drage. 
Drage is then going to drive forward with it and try to flick it into Dan, but it gets intercepted and it ends up with the number 30 who plays it out to the number 17, plays it to the 9. 9 plays at 7, ball ends up here with Theo who tries to find a pass, it's intercepted by the 8 and Cosmos could be in behind here with the number 9, he shoots and it's a save by Fash and the ball ends up here again with the number 17 on this near side, he's going to then come inside, plays it into the 8, 8 plays it back into the number 7 who's up against Hugo, he then is going to play it back into the number 17, the number 17 is going to be sized up by Joel, plays it into the number 9 who turns away but Hugo gets a good challenge there and it comes off the number 9 and it's a throw to us but that is a big save by Fash who up to this point has had a relatively quiet game but he's made the save when called upon there and the game remains 4-1. So from the goal kick Fash is going to send this one long and the ball is going to be won by the Cosmos player and it's going to end up here with the number 9 who's going to show his turn of pace to get away from Hugo, gets across into the box but Mons is in a good position there and Hugo is going to clear it up the pitch into Todd, Todd is going to hold it up here up against the number 3 and Todd is going to win a foul in a very good place and then he's going to go down with Cramp. Ball over the far side with Dami and he's trying to shimmy it past the defender and instead it goes back to Kai, Kai up against the number 30, plays it up to Dami first time, Dami turns back inside again and then plays it back to Kai, Ooh, saw them a little bit there, Kai manages to get it ahead of the Cosmos striker, ball played inside to Theo, Theo's going to play it out to Kai who's going to somehow step on the ball and he gets pressed by the Cosmos player, referee says no foul but Theo's there to pick up the seconds, the ball ends up here with Mons and he's giving it away to the number 7 for Cosmos, we need to stop being silly here, number 30 plays it up to the 9, 9 is then going to play it, try to play it through, it's intercepted by Drage, Joe gets it away and the ball's bouncing here, Drage under pressure by the number 9, Drage clears it with the outside of his feet and is brought down by Dan, then skips between the 3 and the 8 and rides the challenge there and plays it through to Drage. Drage is going to come inside here on the number 3. He passes it on and it's Dami who is onside and he's put that one over the bar. That's a very good chance to score a fifth by the way. Should be hitting the target at least. Nearly 80 minutes on the clock and Cosmos have a free kick and it's played by the number 30 into the 12 who plays it into the 9 who's come deep to pick up the ball. He plays it in behind looking for the goal scorer the number 10 and he's controlled it, plays it back to the number 17, the number 10 here turns, Drage is out there with him, he plays this one inside the pitch, into the 9, that's another good save by Fash, that's two good saves by Fash, to be fair that one we expect him to be making, but it's a good save nonetheless and it had to be made. Todd is coming off, he's ran his socks off today and Darren is coming back on. Why are you coming off? Cramped. Oh dear. And I pulled my muscle on my calf and all. <laughs> and and sprint. <laughs> so 91 on the clock and Cosmos are going to play inside into the number 6 who's getting pressed by Dan. The number 6 is forced wide here but he plays it inside into the 9 who turns away from Ben and then he plays it into the gap. Hugo's out there with whoever that guy was and this ball's played out to the number 12 and the ball ends up here again with the number 9. He tries to play this one through, he does get it through to the number 10. He has a shot and it's saved by Fash once again and Drage gets it clear. That's three good saves by Fash, I count in this half. Throw for Cosmos in the dying minutes here over the far side looking for options. Our shape at the moment is quite good, they've got no one to play to, they play it down the line, the header is won by Theo and Dami then clears the seconds, Dan brings down a loose ball and he's played it in behind here for Darren who is up against the number 12 and the number 6, Darren holds it up well, Dan on this near side making a supportive run, Darren picks him up, Dan shoots on his left, it takes a deflection off the number 6 and it's a corner late on for the cons. Now one of our most consistent players this season has been Njolo Kante aka Joe Bailey and if anyone deserved a goal today it would have been him. He's come very close here. Woo! Cosmos keeper nearly dived past it.
Keeper with the ball in his hand and he's going to go long here. Joe's going to head it back as far as the number 10 and he plays it to the number 7 for Cosmos and he hits, I don't know, somewhere. But with that, the referee blows the final whistle and we have won. We are champions of the Frank Blunston Cup for this year. Commiseration to Cosmos. All I can say is last year we lost in the final. This year we've come back stronger and made sure we won one. So make sure you guys pick yourselves up and go again next year. But that finishes a fantastic season for us. We've done the league and the cup double in the first season in charge for Joe and Jupp. As I mentioned earlier, I filmed about five cup finals and they'll all be up this week and next week. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, leave a comment down below, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter. All of that is absolutely free and you can see Drage there getting his Man of the Match trophy. That's all from me for today. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy the trophy lift with us and we'll see you guys on the next video.